The key to coral reef resilience is the ability for the ecosystem to recover after disturbance and to prevent a phase shift from coral to macroalgal reefs to occur. Many coral reefs worldwide have already undergone these phase shifts because of overfishing, declining water quality and climate change. By removing macroalgae, herbivores play an important role in resilience. Two groups of animals can be critical as herbivores of large fleshy algae, fish and sea urchins. Herbivorous fishes are diverse and are made up of several groups that perform different ecological functions and have different roles in preventing phase shifts. Some fish just browse or graze on algae, cropping it like grass or leaves, and picking the soft parts to eat. Some actually scrape the rock the algae is attached to, excavating part of the rock and turning it into sand. Scraping of the surface of the reef prepares new surfaces for colonization by corals. The number and type of herbivores play a critical role in the competition for space between corals and macroalgae. In general, the higher the herbivory, the lower the macroalgal cover and the healthier the coral. The loss of herbivores can trigger phase shifts. In Jamaica, Overfishing, followed by a disease that killed most sea urchins, led to a dramatic shift to an algal-dominated reef. Herbivores can also help reverse a phase shift and return a reef from algae to corals. An experiment on the Great Barrier Reef surprisingly showed that batfish, previously thought to feed on invertebrates, became responsible for eating algae and reversing a phase shift. The IUCN Climate Change and Coral Reefs Group has adopted a methodology for measuring herbivores on coral reefs. It is crucial for populations of herbivorous fish to be monitored and protected if we want coral reefs to survive climate change.